Welcome back for yet another proofreading exercise. In just a moment, you should see today's paragraph, which magically appears on screen. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to read this paragraph to you after it expands, and I'm gonna ask that you pause the video, make any necessary corrections you can identify, whether they're spelling, punctuation, or grammar related. You're gonna resume the video, and we're gonna correct it together and see how closely my corrections align with yours. All right, I look forward to it, thanks. Okay, looks like we are on proofreading exercise 11. I am going to read it aloud to you. Afterwards, you will see a reminder to pause the video and make any necessary corrections you can during that time it's paused. All right, let's get started. Susanna came home from a work. She put the key in the lock of the apartment door. She opened the door. She clearly heard a voice inside her apartment. Was it the TV? Was it the radio? Was it her neighbor? She not know if she should go in or run away. She couldn't move. She couldn't think. She heard the soft sound of footsteps. She couldn't breathe. The door slowly opened. Mom, what are you doing here? Susanna said when she caught her breath. Hi, honey. Dad and I are cooking dinner for you. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. Make any corrections you can after reading it once again yourself and resume when you're ready. All right, so let's take a look. So Susanna came home from a work. So it should be Susanna came home from work. We're talking about a specific workplace. The A is what's called a general article and we are not being general, we are being specific. We're talking in the context of the sentence about a work that we know Susanna goes to or a job. All right, she, oops, sorry. She putted the key in the lock, so it should be put irregular, of the apartment. And you'll notice there's an additional vowel here. Apartment is the word, so we're going to strike that vowel. Door. She opened the door. She clearly heard a voice inside her apartment. So voice is actually I-C-E, not S-E, inside her apartment. Was it the TV? Was it the radio? Was it her neighbor? She not know if she should, so she did not we're missing a verb, did not know if she should go in or run away. She couldn't move. She couldn't think. She heard the soft sound of footsteps. She couldn't breathe. The door slowly opened. Mom, what are you doing here? So even though she's asking a question that she's really not intent, well, actually she is intending a response. So it's not a rhetorical question, but it is a question. So it needs to end with a question mark as you would with a rhetorical as well. So Susanna said when she caught her breath, hi honey, dad and I are cooking dinner for you. So that one looks good. But I'm just gonna take a buzz back to sentences five, six, and seven, because it seems really redundant because we have the subject pronoun she, she, and she over and over. So let's see if we can condense that, starting at number five. She did not know if she should go in or run away. She couldn't move. I would get rid of this one and combine the sentences with a coordinating conjunction or, and then I would say think because we already have the negative here. So we've got our subject, she, we've got the negative for, uh, to describe the subject pronoun, which is couldn't move or think. So we've condensed or combined those sentences. She heard the soft sound of footsteps. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that additional she, cause we already have our subject pronoun here. I'm gonna use my coordinating conjunction and. So she heard the soft sound of footsteps and couldn't breathe. There you go. The door slowly opened. I think that should do it. All right, if you have any additional corrections or perhaps you disagree with mine, as always, please leave a comment in our Google Classroom or in the YouTube video you're watching now. Thank you guys. As always, I wanna thank you for taking part in today's exercise. Uh, I look forward to the next one. Keep practicing, keep studying.